Hi there, and welcome to the Cotswold Explorer. I'm Robin Shuckborough, and we're exploring the wonderful region of the Cotswolds in southwest England. We've decided to revisit the centre of the region and find some hidden gems, places that are not quite so famous, but still just as beautiful. So you find Ross Widget and me in the village of Stonesfield. It's an interesting place this because it's the source of all the well, original stone tiles that were used to roof the Cotswold cottages. All over the place in this part of the world you'll find these lovely stone roofs. Ironically in Stonesfield itself I noticed quite a lot of tile. Anyway come with me I'll show you around. The name Stonesfield seems appropriate for this lovely village as it's the source of the exquisite thin stone slates that adorn the roofs of so many buildings in the area. By a strange coincidence however the name actually derives from the word Stonesfeld, the name given to the settlement in the Doomsday Book meaning Fool's Field because of the difficult stony ground surrounding it. Stonesfield is that rare thing in the Cotswolds, a mining village. The whole of the area in and around the village is pitted with mines and shafts from which the stone or pendle was hauled up and covered with earth to a weight of frost. When one was expected the whole village would turn out to uncover the stone and allow the frost to split it into slates which would then be trimmed and shaped for roofing. If the frost was at night, the church bells would be rung to wake the village up. The last mine closed before the First World War and demand for replacement slates is now met from demolished buildings. They are becoming increasingly difficult to get. The legacy of the mines is still felt in the village as many of the buildings have suffered settlement in various degrees of severity. The same geological history makes the village the source of some of the most spectacular fossil finds in England. Dinosaurs and other vertebrates have been found here and are displayed in museums around the country. The western end of the village retains its old character with winding lanes and rows of slaters cottages on the side of the hill, but during the 20th century the village has expanded considerably. It's always the case where hard manual work was the lifeblood of a village that several pubs would open up to satisfy the thirst of the workers. When industry declines, so does the number of drinking establishments. It seems sad, however, that this decline in numbers wasn't halted quite in time for the building of large new housing estates around the village, and it looks as though the last of the pubs will now close forever. I'm told that a huge and successful effort was made by the locals to raise money to buy the white horse, but that sadly the owners didn't wait for them to succeed and sold the building instead to a property developer. If this is true it is very sad for the inhabitants of this lovely village which will only be lacking a pub to make it a perfect place to live. The small 13th century church of St James and its cemetery sit just off the village square and are well worth a visit. There was a slightly destructive restoration in the early 19th century but much of the original building survives. The excellent chancel arch and the trifoil headed piscina are lovely and the 14th century octagonal font and polygonal pulpit dated 1629 worth a visit on their own. There's some great stained glass from 14th and 15th centuries and for those interested in arms, a selection of shields, the deciphering of which I leave to others more expert than I. Next to the gate into the square is the old lock-up, a daunting little place with a small barred window, into which no doubt were slung those slaters who had over-imbibed in the many pubs of the day. Stansfield was built very close to Ackerman Street, one of the several Roman roads to cross this region and the remains of Roman villas have been found here. At the beginning of the 18th century one villa was discovered with four richly patterned 4th century mosaics 
along with baths and Roman heating systems, but astonishingly were entirely destroyed later in the century. A lesson, perhaps, that it has always been the case that if you take your eye off the wonderful heritage with which we're blessed for a second, someone with a vested interest in conflict with its survival will seek to destroy it. I must admit, the more I travel the region, the more concerned I get that the voices of conservation and aesthetic appreciation are not ringing loud enough. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little trip around Stonesfield. There's an extraordinary thought that this wonderful village is sitting on top of all these wonderful tunnels from which the great stone roofs of the Cotswolds came. We've enjoyed ourselves. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can find us on all the usual platforms and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.